Welcome to Token Boss Daily News Briefing, where we provide the latest and exclusive news on blockchain and cryptocurrency. On our top story, we have a blacklist for crypto scam sites, Tether, and a statement from JP Morgan analysts on institutional investors. Stay tuned for more. I'm Eros Hun, and this is your Daily News Briefing. The Belgium Financial Services and Markets Authority recently updated its crypto scammer list, taking the number to include the total of 113 websites. Upon the authority's announcement, the surprising fact was that the methods that these sites use remain the same. Scammers offer you an investment opportunity that is secure, easy, and lucrative, while giving out the names of specialists that would do all the heavy lifting for you. Then, despite the site's guarantee for withdrawal at any given time, the customers find themselves unable to recover the money. Note that the number is solely based on activities reported on the Belgium FSMA, and that it might not be as comprehensive as you may think. However, it is worth knowing that the scam sites use similar tactics. With the number of scammers constantly increasing, investors should take the warnings of FSMA to make sure that your investment do not go into the wrong hands. This news comes from our very own South Korea. Busan, one of South Korea's largest ports, has implemented blockchain for cargo location. In the past, drivers would have had to visit the terminal for a location document where they received the cargo. Having done this manually, this caused a huge traffic within the terminal area which increased the overall inefficiency of the system. However, according to Jungang News, drivers would now be able to locate their cargo without receiving the location document from the terminal using blockchain. When it comes to public sectors, the South Korean government is actively seeking ways to improve its inefficiency and costs using blockchain. According to a government official, starting with the shipping industry, the blockchain technology will be implemented within sectors as beef transportation, customs, and many more. When blockchain was first introduced to the public, it was deemed as the technology that would change the way we interact. And its utility in terms of voting, documenting, and transport has repeatedly been brought up. People may have gotten tired of hearing the news on how this technology could be used. However, it seems as we are at a point of seeing real adoption of blockchain technology. Within the cryptocurrency market, Tether is not a small-time player. While it is a currency packed to the US dollar, some skeptics claim that Tether was not actually backed by cash. However, it turns out, that Tether actually do back each of their crypto with a dollar bill, according to a report published by Bloomberg. According to the document, although they were not able to figure out how much was stored in the company's account, they were able to verify the peg between the two currencies. While this might calm the worries surrounding Tether, there still remain some unanswered questions such as the actual bank balance of the company and where the fund came from. Although Tether may be an alternative, to hedge against the volatility of cryptocurrencies, there still remain some doubts in trusting the currency. An analyst from JP Morgan Chase claimed that the current crypto bear market is shying institutions away from getting into crypto. The research published on December 14th said that the key flow metrics such as futures markets and average volumes have dramatically downshifted. Despite the hype around institutional capital tapping into the realm of crypto, it seems as the institutions themselves are scared of putting their money in. But one thing to note is that this does not mean that they are not ready. Along with Nasdaq's futures products, the CEO of Western Union recently stated that they are indeed ready to add crypto when it is necessary. Handling over 130 currencies, the CEO claimed that it would not be too difficult to add one more to the list. Some signs indicate a brighter outlook, some don't. All in all, it seems everybody is just waiting for the right timing. We bring the latest news to you. That was your Token Post Daily News Briefing. I'm your host, Sun. Thanks for watching.